Hi, welcome to Late Night Talks with me, Peter. This is a new series of videos that I will be undergoing once in a while, and I hope you guys enjoy. I think sometimes people need a realistic conversation about life. Just like in my last video, I said some people grow up without dads, which is still perfectly fine. So if you don't have a dad and you're watching this video, uh, just call me dad, daddy Pete, daddy long. I'm cooking ribs right now and I only think it's professional that I'm actually doing something while I'm talking and not staring at the camera because uh, that'd be fucking weird. It's like crooked, like it's pissing me off. So right now I only have 15 subscribers. If you're watching and I have like, let's say thousands and you're watching right now of me talking about little things, you're probably like, what the fuck is he talking about? It's because I'm in the stance where I'm at now. So if you guys don't know, I'm a part of a YouTube channel called Ferta and it's me and my buddies, we just go around, travel, we do fun stuff and we document it. The link is gonna be in the description. So go check it out, go subscribe, like, comment, post notifications. I like having my own channel because I really do love YouTube. Like it's a passion of mine and I know it'll go big and I know it'll go good. And I really think if you have a passion that you should chase it. And that's just how I think because um, I'm what people call a uh, fucking normal. It's so tender. Ever since I started YouTube, I've had a decent amount of hate. I know who you are. I understand. I'd probably shit talk myself too if I was a fucking weirdo. I use the shit talking to motivation, so it helps me. Uh, I don't really care, honestly. No, it's just today's topic is gonna be uh, like just kind of like a life lesson. If you have something you wanna do and you have a dream and a passion for something, you should do it. You only have so little time. Like, if you really put two and two together, you're not gonna really wanna do shit after you're 50 years old. You can't do shit until you're really 18 years old because of like high school and which you can do a lot of shit while you're still in school, but time management is a fucking thing. Like the time management is a little more difficult. If you have dreams, I think you guys should chase it. I think that's like the number one rule. If I really think you should take risks and have fun taking the risk too. It's like, you know whether or not something is going to do awesome is if people don't understand. Me right now, I'm working on getting my real estate license because I really do like learning about real estate. And when my YouTube takes off, it'll be a good thing to know about. I have the knowledge of mine, so no matter what, I can't get fucked over. I know about the laws, the policies. Let's say you're going for a job, everyone's gonna say good for you. That's awesome, congratulate you. But if you're gonna start your own business or start something yourself, or even just do whatever you want, people are gonna be like, I don't know, or like, do you know what you're doing? Or they'll tell you that they don't understand. And that's when the bar separates, you know? When people congratulate you and are like, oh, that's good for you and interested, it, 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 it's like right here. But when people are like, I don't understand, it's way higher because if you get to that point, they'll be like, fuck. When people don't understand what you're doing, it's because they're not educated on what you're doing. So if you're going for a basic nine to five job, or if that's just what you want, people will be like, oh, that's good. Like you're working hard for it. But if you're doing something like what I do YouTube, it's like people won't understand until you succeed. My biggest thing is like dream high chase higher that's when you know you're going for something big it's when either people are taking time out of their day to talk shit and or they just say they don't fucking understand oh, 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 oh. i love what i'm doing right now i'm working my ass off so i can fund this channel and so i can fund everything else and i'm having a great time doing it because i know that struggle isn't going to be there permanently my buddy and i trace we are both kind of in the same area. Probably in a year and a half or two years, we're probably gonna move down to Texas. I just think that's a better place where I could shoot more content. Oh, here's that little pussy. You wanna go in the grill? I love this cat more than fucking anything. This is gonna be a series that I'm gonna be taking on, you know, from here on out and just give you late night talks, maybe some advice. I just wanted this first one to be like, get to know me a little bit. Just kind of like hang out with me while I'm cooking fucking ribs because who doesn't want to do that? I live in Rochester, New York, which is like an hour east of Buffalo. It fucking sucks. There's nothing to do here. You can't go in the city. There's like one street you could go in the city. And then if you accidentally take a right, you'll probably get shot. I don't go to college. I graduated high school, top of my class. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.